Hi everyone, this is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. I hope you're well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Selena and I release a crochet tutorial every week. And this week I'm bringing to you um, this beautiful um, flower granny square bag. I really love it. It's really easy um, to crochet and it's actually quite a fast project too. And the free pattern is available as always on my blog selinaveronique.com. The link is in the down bar. And for this project, I used three different colours. So I used um, Drops Muscat. So this is the yarn. And this is a 100% cotton yarn, and it's by Drops. It's considered a light three yarn in American terms, and this is also called DK yarn in British terms. And as you can see, I used three different colors. I will be listing the exact colors that I used and how many um, skeins I have used. So I think I used one skein of yellow, one skein of pink, and um, I think three skeins of um, this cream yarn. I also used a four millimeter crochet hook, a tapestry needle, and a pair of scissors. So that's all the materials that you will need for this project. I will be using US terms with British terms in brackets. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. That really helps out my channel. And if you want more um, feminine crochet content, don't forget to head over to my Patreon. And without further ado, I'm just going to jump into the tutorial. Okay, so to begin this tutorial, I will be showing you how to crochet this um, this flower square. Okay, so to begin, you will be making a slip knot, and you are using the yellow yarn. So just go ahead and make a slip knot. Pop your hook through, tighten. And now what you are going to be doing is chaining four. So one, two, three, four. And now that you have four chains, you are going to be um, slip stitching through that first chain. So just go ahead and slip stitch to create a um, circle into which we are going to be working. I am going to be working my loose end as we go inside the stitches and you will see why um, after. So now that you've got your circle, you are going to be chaining one. And this does not count as a stitch. Okay, so now that you've chained one, you are going to be working your stitches inside this center. So to begin, place a single crochet inside this center. So to create your single crochet, pop your hook directly through um, the center, pull up a loop, you have two um, loops on your hook, take your yarn and pull through two loops. And now um, that creates your first single crochet. Now for um, the next stitch, you are going to be placing another single crochet inside that center and this creates your second double crochet and you are going to be placing another 10 single crochets inside this center so that you have 12 in total so just go ahead and do this and um, don't forget to um, fasten in your loose end as you go. So I've gone ahead and um, crocheted my 12 single crochets as you can see and now to close off and finish off this round I'm simply going to um, slip stitch through that first single crochet that we did so just go ahead and slip stitch through that like so and because we are going to be changing colors, I'm going to um, fasten off 
with a pair of scissors and pull this loose end through to create a knot. And this is round one. And what I am going to be doing is pulling um, my um, loose end um, gently just to close um, off the center. I think it looks neater with a closed center. And now I'm going to show you um, round two. So for round two, you are simply going to be taking the pink yarn or whichever color you've decided to use. And I'm just going to pop um, my hook through um, the stitch that we've just finished and pull the yarn through and attach it. So just go ahead and attach your yarn like so. So this is what we have. And again, I am going to be um, fastening in my loose ends as I go. Um, this is simply because I think um, it'll be easier afterwards, but it's optional. So I'm just going to pop my hook through that stitch where I've just attached the pink yarn um, and pull up a loop like so. And now chain three. So one, two and three. And this um, chain three counts as your first double crochet. And now what we are going to be doing is placing a second double crochet inside that first, that same stitch. So to create your double crochet, wrap your yarn around your hook, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, you have three loops on your hook, take your yarn and pull through two loops, take your yarn and pull through two loops. And that creates a double crochet. And now you've got two double crochets inside that first stitch, which creates the first petal, chain one. And what you are going to be doing is going into the next stitch here. So I'm just going to go into the next stitch with a double crochet. So just go ahead and place a double crochet into that stitch and place a second double crochet into that same stitch like so and this is what we have chain one go into the next stitch with a double crochet once again and when I say stitch I obviously mean um, single crochet from the previous round so I've placed two double crochets chain one and just go all the way around placing two double crochets um, chain one inside each and every single crochet from the previous row making sure you have 12 in total and I'll meet you back to show you how to finish off this round okay so I've gone all the way around and I have 12 petals in total. I've just placed my last two double crochets, chain one here, and we are going to be slip stitching through the um, chain three that we made prior, like so. So slip stitch through this, and now you are going to be fastening off like this, and Pull your yarn through to finish off this round. Okay, so for round three, we are going to um, attach our cream yarn. So pop your hook through and attach your yarn like so. So attach your yarn. And now pop your hook through. So I've actually, you can attach your yarn at any point. So yes, I forgot to say attach your yarn in between two petals. So um, attach your yarn where we've just chained one. I've attached my yarn where we've just fastened off just because I think it looks neater. 
to have all the um, loose ends at the same place but that's just optional. So now that you've just attached your um, cream yarn you are going to pop your hook through and you are going to be chaining three. So one, two and three. And this counts as your first double crochet. And now you are going to be placing two more double crochets inside this space. So you have three in total because the chain three counts as a double crochet. Now chain two, one and two, and place another three double crochets inside that space. So one, two, and three. And this creates our first corner um, that is going to create um, the square. So this will all make sense as we go. So now for the next stitch you are going to be skipping two double crochets and going directly into that space, the chain space from the previous row and place three double crochets inside that. So one, two, three. And now go into, skip two um, double crochets and go into this space here with three double crochets. So one, two, three. Sorry, I'm going to redo that third double crochet. There we go. And this is um, the first side created. So now we are going to be skipping two double crochets and going into the next space here to create our second corner. So just go ahead and place three double crochets, one, two, and three. Chain two, one, and two, and place another three double crochets inside this space. Sorry, I'm struggling with my yarn here. So there we go. The third double crochet. So as you can see, we've just created our second corner with three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Skip the next two double crochets and place three double crochets inside the space, chain space, like so. so. Now skip the next two double crochets here and go directly into the next space with three double crochets, one, two, and three. Sorry about that. And three. And now you are going to be going into the next um, chain space. So skip two double crochets and go into the next space with three double crochets one, two, three, chain two three double crochets, one, two, three. Now skip the next two double crochets and go into that space with three double crochets, two, three. Go into the next space with three double crochets, one, two, and three. And we are going to be going into um, the next space with three double crochets, one, two, 
three, chain, chain two, three double crochets, one, two, and three. And this is our last corner. And now we are going to be um, finishing the last um, side. So skip two double crochets, go into the next space with three double crochets. One, two, and three. Two double, skip the next two double crochets and go into the last space with three double crochets. Two and three. And this is this um, third round completed. So to complete it, just go into that chain three from the beginning, slip stitch to close off this round. And as you can see, we have created our, um, this creates a square shape. I'm just gonna pull this before fastening off my um, loose end here. And this is what we have for round one. Okay, so we've just completed round one and now for round two, chain three, one, two and three. And this counts as our first double crochet. Just turn your work and you are going to be working within this space here. So just go ahead and place two double crochets inside this space. So one, and two, and this creates our first um, granny square cluster for this round. Now go into the next space, so skip these stitches here and go into the next space here with three double crochets, one, two, three, and go into the next space with three double crochets, one, two, three, and now go into the next space, which is also the corner. So just go ahead and place three double crochets, one, two, three, chain two and place another three double crochets inside this space. One, two and three. Okay, so now that you've finished um, this corner, you are going to be going into the um, next space with a cluster of just three double crochets, one, two, three, skip the next three um, double crochets and go into the next cluster with three double crochets and into the next cluster with three double crochets. Okay, and now go into the next space, which is also um, the corner with three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, three. And now um, what you are going to be doing, so I'm going to let you complete this second round on your own. So um, this is a very straightforward pattern. So you've just finished um, your second corner and now you are going to be going into each space across here with three double crochets in each space. And then once you reach the next corner, place three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, and then go into um, the spaces here with clusters of three double crochets. And then lastly, um, 
your last corner which will be three double crochets chain two three double crochets and then I'll meet you back to show you how to finish off this round and how to finish off this square okay so I've placed all my double crochets and like I said I finished on um, three double crochets chain two three double crochets and I'm simply going to be slip stitching through the chain three from the beginning to finish off this round now just simply fasten off and slip stitch and pull through sorry and this is the end of this square okay so I've crocheted my 13 squares and this is what I have so I'll be popping a photograph of how to place your squares to sew them I've placed them um, but it's hard to film um, because all the squares don't fit on the screen so I'll be popping a photo on the screen now and the photo will also be available on my blog selinaveronique.com so once again the link is in the down bar. So we are going to start sewing the squares together. So I'll just show you how I'm going to um, sew a couple of those squares um, together and then you can just follow um, along looking at the photograph on the blog. But I'm just going to attach a piece of yarn. So let me just move some of those squares out of the way just to show you how I'm going to sew um, these two together as an example and obviously um, you will be sewing all your squares together so attach your piece of yarn um, onto the squares you want to sew together and then I'm simply going to be using the mattress stitch to sew these squares together so there we go so basically the mattress stitch so let me just zoom in a bit the mattress stitch is um, you go in one side and then you go into the other side directly and it just creates a more seamless stitch so it really creates a more seamless stitch perfect for that type of project so just um, carry on sewing these squares together and then um, sew the rest of the squares together and then I'll show you how to fold your project and finish the sewing but for now just sew the squares together like you see in the photograph and once you've done that I'll get back to you. Hi so I've just finished sewing all my um, crochet squares together as you can see and obviously um, like I said prior don't forget to check out my blog and the photographs to see exactly what, how to sew your squares together and now I'm going to show you how to fold your um, project so that we can create the back shape so to um, lay your project flat and now um, place your project like this so fold this part over like this and now you are going to be um, folding over these squares at the side and that gives the back shape okay so now that we've um, folded the project over we are simply going to be sewing these two sides in and we are going to be sewing this part that part and this part and then leaving this part open and so just um, attach your yarn like so so just attach the yarn onto the project and once you've done this you are simply going to be sewing um, the sides together like I just showed you to close this bag so it's very easy once again we are using the mattress stitch so this is very straightforward once you've folded over 
your um, your project. So just sew this in and like I said just finish sewing these squares together then these and then those and then I'll show you what to do here. Okay so I forgot to film this part but basically what I did was sew all the way here and then fasten off. So I just fastened off here and tidied up my loose end and what we are going to be doing now is the other side. So just a second. So just sew in the other side the same way, fold this part over and then just sew this in, this like that in and then fasten off and then I'll show you how to finish off this bag. Okay, so I finished sewing both sides in and I've already done one strap. Um, I wanted to complete one strap just so that um, when I explained um, it on camera I knew exactly what to do. So I'm going to show you how to do your straps. Obviously you will be repeating this on both sides. And please note that this is still um, the inside of the bag and we will be turning it inside out once we've completed it. So what we are going to be doing is attaching our yarn to the project. So what we are going to be doing now is um, chain 70. So one, two, three. Okay, so I finished chaining my 70 um, chains and now making sure you do not twist your chain you are going to be going into the other um, space on the other side and you are going to be slip stitching through that chain to attach your project and please note that um, once we've completed um, this strap we will be going back um, in with the um, with the um, tapestry needle to secure it further because obviously this is where, where the weight of what's in the bag will be um, um, felt so you definitely want your straps to be secure. So now that you've done that, chain one and this does not count as a stitch. I'm just going to zoom in a teeny bit just so that you can see a bit better. And now that you've done this, you are going to be placing half double crochets all along this um, chain. So to create your half double crochet, wrap your yarn around your hook, go into that first chain, pull up a loop, you have three loops on your hook, take your yarn, pull through three loops, and that creates your first half double crochet. Now go into the next chain with a half double crochet and into the next chain and into the next chain and into the next chain and place a half double crochet all across this chain until you reach the end of um, the chain and then I'll show you how to secure it, uh, how to finish off this um, part. Okay so I'm back and I've gone all the way around and I've reached the last stitch here and making sure that you've not twisted your um, strap just go ahead and secure it to finish off just slip stitch through um, that space once again and now what you are going to be doing is fastening off but leave quite a long tail because we are going to be going back into um, into this um, this project here just to secure it properly so I'm just going to sew this um, this um, strap in a bit more just to make sure it's quite secure so just go ahead and do that also as best you can and as neatly as you possibly can and I don't know how many times I'm gonna go in 
but I'm just going to do that until I'm happy with how secure my strap looks. And I'll invite you to do the same. And once you are happy with, um, with this strap, just go ahead and tie a knot um, to finish off this part just go back in and tie your knot and tidy up your loose ends and then just go into the other side of the strap um, and do the same thing just go ahead and secure your strap well in the other side um, yes and then I'll get back to you Okay, so once you've finished um, your um, straps, that's it, you've finished your project. Now the only thing you need to do now is to um, turn this project inside out. I hope um, you enjoyed making this project. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you want to line this crochet bag, I will be linking in the down bar um, my video on how to line a crochet bag in the meantime I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial I really loved making this bag with you guys and um, yeah see you in my next video mm -hmm.